1849, from Newry County down, we set sail on the Hannah, Nova Scotia bound. Our loved ones left behind the land our fathers knew. Ravaged by the famine, starved by England's crew. Our captain, Curry Shaw, the pasty little sod. Through cruel deeds, he quickly earned the ire of all on board. But three weeks out to sea the winter's grip still tight at 4 a.m. on the freezing night of April 29th the Hannah struck ice when a sailor brought the news the Hannah would go down young Shaw addressed the passengers who feared that they would drown. He stood on deck and spoke with arms raised overhead. Keep calm, everyone, and I will save you all, is what he boldly said. But the coward and two crew, as we Watched in dismay, then commandeered the only lifeboat there and haul away. Swiping with his sword at anyone who tried to stop him, Shaw then vanished, leaving us to die. You villain. Curry Shaw, your name forever draw. The curse and spit of decent men, you lowest of the low. A frantic race began among the crew and men. Ice flows as she lent. Some refused to leave, terrified with fear. They were swallowed in that dreadful hour. The Hannah disappeared. You villain, Curry Shaw, your name forever dwells. Among the greatest cowards that deserved a place in hell. The brave John Murphy dove into the freezing wet and plucked his infant rose and my young Barney from their deaths. He placed them on a flow, but turned to see his own twin boys float off into the darkness, never seen again alive. You villain Curry Shaw. You could have saved them all I hope your boat got swallowed by A great whale's bloody jaw You villain Curry Shaw Your name forever dwell As captain of the cowards on The lifeboat down to hell